coming at you with another video. Um, this is a quick video on how to make espresso. Um, I'm doing it with my Breville Barista Express, but we're gonna um, kind of give you the pointers on really a machine. So um, yeah, let's get started. So uh, the first thing is you wanna make sure that your porta filter is hot. Um, with the Barista Express it takes about like 10 minutes. Uh, most machines take about 10 minutes or so. Um, so just make sure that's good to go. Next, um, if you like your espresso hot, like pretty hot, um, I always, whether you like it or whether you like to have it hot or not, um, either flush into the cup or just flush into your um, tray here. So I'm gonna flush into the cup. Just let it run for like, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds. You can wait till this gets a little hot. All right, um, put that off to the side, let it heat up a little bit. Uh, the next thing is, um, if you have a scale, I recommend um, weighing your porta filter before. You're gonna zero in with your scale. Um, once you're zeroed in, the goal is to get 18 grams, roughly, into the porta filter. Um, that's just generally, what you're going to look for, at least with this machine or this porta filter, I should say. Some porta filters go all the way up to like 24, 26 grams, or as you know, small as like 16. Um, and if you're using a single basket, just cut that in half, cut your number in half. Generally speaking, though, 18 grams is a good, good starting point. So, uh, next, uh, you just want to go ahead. I'm going to actually get it up here. That should go in there. A lot of times I like to tap, uh, tap on this kind of give it a, a little shake. That way it um, kind of distributes itself a little bit. But um, yeah, see, this is kind of going over a little bit. Ooh, we got a lot in there. But I, I typically use a um, a little uh, funnel that goes on top of here, but ours just broke, so it's kind of a bummer. But the next thing is you want to just kind of distribute with your hands um, just to get it kind of evenly distributed in there. So this is looking pretty good. Once you get it flat enough, um, you'll either, so it looks pretty good here, but this is very fluffy. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's pretty fluffy. The next thing you're going to do is you're either going to use your tamp and tamp down. If you are going to just use a tamper, make sure you really distribute um, in that first process. Kind of make sure you, you you swirl around with your finger to make sure you get all the edges. Um, I have a distributor though, uh, and I set this to about, I think it's like seven millimeters, something like that, centimeters uh, down. Um, actually, if you have a Barista Express or the little um, edging tool, you can use that as well to, to uh, set your distributor tool. So I'm going to go ahead and Press this down a little bit, give it some spins. Once you do that, I like to uh, give it a little, little muscle. And I didn't have to push down too hard, so I like to, if, if you notice yourself not having to push down too hard to get it to get it to tamp, give it just a little extra. Now you're shooting for about 30 pounds of pressure. It's, you know, no one's gonna get that every time. There are tampers that actually have the pressure set, so you can, you know, you tamp, and once the it kind of like hits the bottom, that's when you've done 30 pounds. So um, once you've put everything in there, you know, check this again. Make sure it hits 18. We got already 18 right there, so that's perfect. Um, and you just go ahead and go in. One other thing I wanted to mention is you can kind of. If you don't have, if you don't have a scale, you can, um, if you have like an espresso cup, go about, th it, this is rough estimates, but you're gonna go about like three fourths of the way up with coffee. So you just kind of dump in, you know, right around here for coffee, w with the amount of coffee that you want in there. Again, that's just a really rough estimate, um, but it's a good way to get started if you don't have a scale that is. <clears throat> So now that this cup's warmed up, dump this. Now I use a timer. 
Um, I have one on my watch. You could have, you know, if you have a phone or something, do whatever you want for a timer. But your goal is 18 grams in. So we had 18 grams here, and you want to have about 36 out. Um, that's the general goal. You want like a two to one ratio or a one to two ratio, we're going to say. Um, and then you want to be able to pull that roughly within 20 to 30 seconds of the first uh, drip of coffee. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and you'll see when I start. I'm going to look for that first drip and that's when your timer is going to start. All right, timer started. Pulling pretty good. Um, no blonding. It's not, it's coming out a little um, uneven. All right, and we hit 19 there. So in this case, um, you might actually want to go a little finer. So uh, just to get yourself up to that 20 to 25 seconds. This one's definitely good enough. Um, I'm going to give it to my wife back here. And uh, yeah, so that's the that's the basics of making espresso. If anybody has any more uh, specific questions or you know having some troubleshooting issues, go ahead and shoot it in the comments. Again, please like and subscribe. Thanks.